Right, and it's a couple of weeks later, and this first customer's car, which is a Cayman S, uh, is completed. I've been out on the, uh, seen this out on the road, and this thing moves, it is quick. Uh, we got a rolling road figure of 460 horsepower on this one. This is before, it's on a base map only, before it's been off to um, MRN's tuning partner, hybrid tune for proper optimization. Uh, it's, it's a low mileage car, it's a 65k, something 65K. like that. Yeah, so, you know, we're expecting big things from this. Uh, the highest so far recorders has been 472. 472, and this guy that owns this one has got a, he's into his race cars, he's very much kind of on the engine tuning side of things, but in terms of, um, again, race cars, not road cars. So he spoke to Hybrid Tune, the tuning partner, and he's, he's asked them to really push it basically so um i like it i really like the car will be, this one will be if, if there is any more to be squoze out of it this guy wants to squeeze it out just so we can see what it's going to do and later on in the year we've got bigger things planned for this car um that i won't mention yet because i need to speak to speak to him and make sure he's happy to let people know um but yeah we've we've managed to get some uh yeah some some of the guys in the game when it comes to rebuilding these engines managed to get them on board with doing a forced induction engine so yeah some big things for this one mm -hmm. i think he's aiming for 650 plus that's crazy i was kind of hoping he'd like get bored of it and then say it to, to me for less than he's put into it which would be <laughs> ideal because i really like this car <laughs> this but, one, yeah. but hey ho never mind anyway back to the install how's everything gone paul i mean we've covered the uh the um, yeah, we coolant the thing, so... The charge cooler. Um, I've just checked those and, and topped up the levels, made sure we've got a load of oil in there and coolant for its its drive over to hybrid tune, which is about 150 miles away from here. Yep, it's been out on some brief road tests. Yeah, I've done quite a bit of road tests and I've gone through easier tank of fuel um, and we've now actually got the latest map in it where hybrid tune are trying to rescale the MPG um, calculation. Uh, in the ECU, so whatever it actually does on the road, um, in terms of real real mile per gallon, the uh, dashboard will tell you something real rather than at the minute. It's just it was yeah, skewed it was data, wasn't it? Yeah. It was yeah, it was no based God. on um, flow rates for the standard size injector because we've gone for a larger injector um, that all needs rescaling. So you, we, they've done it numerically, looking at the data sheet from the. Um, from the injectors themselves and flow rates. But in real world, it's always different because you've got um, fuel pressures to think about, um, all sorts of different things that affect and skew that data. So I've brimmed the tank, um, I've reset um, the trip, so we're now on zero miles. I've reset the MPG calculation. So we'll drive this 150 miles to hybrid tune, um, brim it again while we're there, look at how many litres we've used, work out what our actual MPG is. And then Hybrid Tune will um, basically do an update on the ECU and hopefully have a more accurate um, MPG figure, which is nice because the whole idea behind this kit is to make it as OEM as possible. Yep. Um, it wants to drive like it's it came from the factory like this. There's no weird starting when it's cold or anything like that. It just works. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. far, it does. But the one sticking point was that uh, MPG uh, figure was all all skewed and out. So. Yeah, I mean, from the from terms of looking at it in the engine bay, you know, it doesn't look wildly different really from above. Yeah, you've got a snazzy bit on there. Yeah, which is the MRN uh, carbon base, which I think is it's just really nice, nice high quality um, bit of kit. Uh, they could have stuck with the the OEM inlet planning, um, but MRN actually offer this as uh, cold air induction kit um, and they've done all the development and the and the CFD um, around actually making sure that the flow to every cylinder is is even as it can be um, certainly with the standard system it's not you get some deficits I think it's these rear two uh, cylinders number three and number six don't receive quite as much flow as the front ones um, and when you're pushing an engine a lot harder uh, and squeezing more horsepower out of them, you'd really need those uh, figures to be a lot closer because you're essentially dumping fuel in. Um, you don't want a lean cylinder 
when you're up at nearly 500 horsepower. So yeah, um, really nice install, dead pleased with it. Um, really enjoyed doing it um, and working out where everything should go. This has all been P-clipped, so there's, there's not really any cable ties where, where there shouldn't be. Uh, there's cable ties on cables, which is kind of goes with the name of it, but yeah, it's all P-clipped, uh, run really nicely. Any points that move have been isolated from rubbing on anything else or um, protected with um, like an outer sheath. Um, but yeah, I'm dead pleased with it. Yep, well, shall we take a look at the underside? Yeah. Okay, starting at the front then, from the intercooler. Paul, take us through it. So that's the charge cooler, and that's the standard Porsche item um, that's literally, I think it comes on the um, the models with the Triptronic or the PDK gearbox for additional cooling. Um, so MRN have utilised that as a charge cooler, basically. So it's liquid that runs through there. That goes to the charge cooler at the back, um, which is a liquid to air. Um, cooling device, if you like. Yeah. Can um, we see the pipes on this one? Under the, no, it's all sealed off at the minute, so right. it's all been cut. Oh over. yeah, because all the. Um... But we've had to cut these out to allow air to come through the front. Yep. Just like down. on the two point seven, gets an airflow through up the radiator part of the front. Yep. Yep. That's all now covered up. So all the under trays back on and everything. Yeah. But what I have done with the. Um, with some of the pipes in there, they're all insulated as well to isolate the charge pull-in pipes from um, from the main radiator lines. Oh, we can just it. see it. It's we can just see it there where it's isolated coming up. The, yeah. the insulation yeah. again. A couple of big clips there. Yeah. Um, any potential rub points? We've got some nylon um, oversheath. Right, and this pipe in is not the supplied one from MRI. It's not. No. So we've uh, customers wanted to go for um, basically all looking OEM. Yeah. So we've gone for, I think we've even gone for spring clamps. If you look just over here, we've got spring clamps here. So we didn't want uh, Jubilee clips. So yeah. all the joints are spring clamps. To be fair, I do, I do prefer this look. Yeah, I'll be doing thing, it. I mean, I'll be taking mine apart. Yeah, so. if it was mine, I think that's what I'd go with as well. So fair play to him on that. Spring clamps on the oil lines as well. And as we're coming back uh, in here, so because we changed the gearbox oil on these, um, you're supposed to remove all of this tray. So we've actually put in an access port at the bottom here. It's got the bung in at the moment. Um, that's for changing the gearbox oil. Yeah, because the um, in addition to this plate, with the scavenge pumps uh, mounted on top of here, as well as the charge cooler, charge pump. cooler pump. Yeah. Exactly. So we don't want to cause any damage and make, or make any further faff. So an extra hole was made in the bottom there to get the uh, gearbox make uh, maintenance a bit easier. Uh, turbo jackets on that one, you can't quite sit the turbos because the yeah. jackets on top, but they yeah. look pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty um, decent. I think they've partnered up with MRN. Um, they provide the um, all the heat management um, kind of materials. They've got the... Let's have a look at the yeah, Funk Motorsport right there, look. You can see part of the They're known for making, jacket. I think the best turbo jackets on the market. They fit really well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they've, they've clearly kind of gone a bit above and beyond compared to a lot of the others that are out there on the market. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got in here? So, there's not much more you can see from no, here. No, no. Uh, this particular customer's gone for um, Cerakote. So this is all ceramic coated. Yeah. And I'm so impressed with it. I'm Gives a nice look, on, yeah. On future projects, I think. Yeah, so normally this would be stainless steel, wouldn't it? It would just be the, the raw stainless on that these. That one's aluminium. That one's aluminium. That's all stainless That's steel. That's stainless, yeah. But he's gone for everything black. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Yeah. And he's used the standard, you changed yours on your 2.7. He's got the standard exhaust tips there. We weren't sure about them when we got them out of the box, were we? Let's be honest, we thought they looked a little bit uh, look good on this chintzy, car. but in the car, they actually look really well, don't they? I actually yeah. think that looks pretty cool. Yeah. So they've turned out quite nicely. Uh, Brought them out a little bit further because he's got this splitter. Yeah. So whereas mine, uh, they run a lot further back in line with the bumper. I thought, well, we've got this extra piece here. Let's bring them out further. Looks a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So we weren't we weren't sure when we first got them if they were a little bit a little bit chintzy, but actually on the car they look they look cool. 
I like that. Yeah. So yeah, all in all, it's all turned out quite a nice uh, tidy install. This one it's going to be a real weapon when this is uh, tuned up on the yeah, uh, on the going, roads and then on the track. It's going to run it this summer and then we're going to the next level um, in terms of power. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see something in the region of like say 650 um, by next year, maybe end of end of this year, maybe depending on what we do with the engine. Yeah. yeah, and that'll be pretty cool. And then the next project has rolled into town. Yeah, so this, I think, was one of the first MRN um, turbo kit customers, if you like. This was converted uh, by the owner himself probably a year and a half ago. Yep. A year ago. Um, and it's now coming for some upgrades. So Good is. We're going to go for um, stainless steel headers without the cats, and we're actually going to put the cats after the turbos. Uh, so this particular customer had some aftermarket OEM, well, not OEM headers. They didn't have the OEM headers. He had aftermarket ones on with cats in, and basically there was a known problem. I think they were <coughs> cats. Uh, there was a known problem with them. Um, that had various. Um, items back because the cats have basically collapsed and melted. So you have to have those cut out. So the car's currently running with no cats. Uh, so to make it all legal and pass emissions, we're going to be making a custom exhaust with the cats after the turbos. It's got different dump valve going on and a quick shift. Oh yeah, quick shift kit right there. Nice. Cool, so that's the next project. So uh, as previously discussed, Paul is now undertaking uh, fitment of the MRN kits. Um, and I'll, I'll say I'll put all his details below. And if you wish to, uh, you know, take any of the, the, this further, get any quotes or something like that, get in contact. The best way to get in touch with me at the moment is just through Instagram. So we'll put a link to the Instagram page on there. Or if you speak to MRN um, directly, he'll I'll take you seriously, he'll, he'll put you in touch with me. So. Right, mm. until next time. Oh, and also, thanks very much for anyone watching, viewing, subscribing. Um, and for you, do you like my uh, regular projects? I've still got some mowers to uh, reassemble and such like, as well as cars. Uh, we've got that smart car in pieces outside that we really should deal with. Um, um, yeah, this. That, <laughs> that there. I think, look, 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 100 likes and Paul should get that back on the road. Come on, come on, help me out. Likes. Help me out. Yeah, 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 totally. Come on, it'll give some inspiration. Right, see you later, guys.